Hi everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, let's talk about graphing the square root function, square root of x minus one, and then minus three. Uh, we're gonna use transformation, and um, as you have seen my the other videos, I actually show the basic transformations, and this time there, this function involves two transformations because there was the minus one inside the square root, there was also a minus three outside the square root, okay? So we are going to, um, we are going to start by just graphing the parent function, and so first, I'm going to just label the scale. Okay, so first, we graph the parent function. So that is the parent function, y equals square root of x. Okay, so how do we graph this one? The three key points. You can, you can see that the general shape is going to be this way, right? And then the three key points would be 0, 0, and then 1, 1, and then uh, 4, 2. Okay, so let's graph those three key points right there. So we're going to get 0, 0, 1, 1, and then 4, 2. And so those are, and then um, the general shape for the function. So this is our um, y equals square root of x. And so I'm just going to call this 1 so that I can just label 1 right here. Okay, so now the next step, the next step is to graph the 1 with the minus 1 inside the square root. So that means we are going to talk about now the second one is going to be y equals the square root of x minus one, okay? The general shape doesn't change as you can see, so it's still going to be this way, but uh, as you can see that we are going to shift everything one unit to the right, okay? So one unit to the right because of the minus one right here. So um, this minus one, it's shifting y equals square root of x, one unit to the right. Okay, so now what do we do? And you see, as you can see, the y values are not affected, so we are going to just go one unit to the right, and that one, one unit to the right, this one, one unit to the right. And so now we have a, a new function And so that one is the second one. That one is the second one. And then so just uh, one more transformation here with the minus three on the outside. And so this one, it's going to affect our y value. So we have a vertical transformation. So we are going to have y equals square root of uh, x minus one with the minus three. So as you can see that the shape doesn't change because for the second step right here, that is a horizontal transformation. So we're moving the graph left and right. And this one with the minus three, we're moving, we have a vertical transformation. So we're moving the graph up and down. And so this one is shifting y equals square root of x minus one from the previous step, three units down. Okay, so now what happens is that we are going to look at those three key points right here, and then we are going to move those three key points three units down. So this one, one, two, three, we can just count. Or you can just look at the y values, right? We start with zero, and then three units down means that we are going to get a y value negative three for that point. This one has a one, so we are going to get a negative two for the y value for that point. Or you can just count one, two, and three. And same thing here, one, two, and three, so we are going to get this point here and then the shape doesn't change as you know so we are going to um, we are going to just graph this one so that's our third one and so that's it for the graph this is the graph of this function okay and then now of course we still need to find the domain the range right so let's see how we can find the domain the range for this function well for the domain and the range we are not going to do it algebraically here we just look at the graph and then try to figure out the domain the range now for the domain the leftmost point as you can see is starting from one so we are going to start with one okay comma and then as you can see that we'll just keep on going to the right side so infinity and then what about the range now the range is that we look at the lowest point the lowest point is going to have a y value of negative three so we are going to have negative three right here including the negative three and then what happens is that we will just have the graph this will keep going up forever so we are going to get infinity for 
the right side. Okay, so that's it. We have the graph, we have the domain, the range, and um, we are going to talk about other types of transformations next time. Okay, so stay tuned. I will see you next time.